twist uh, your brush when you made the, the under? Just a little bit. It's okay. all in that right there. Wrist yeah. stays straight. That wiggle. Here's that eyebrow again. You know, you can have this little bit sticking out if you want. You can do that. It's up to you making it your personal look. And with, even with your straights, you can bend it like that. You can make it where it doesn't come off. Or you can make it down here. And it's this, that flick on the end of it. It's all about palleting before it gets to the paper where I know it's going to give me that look. There's a lot of paint on there. But it'll have enough for me. Now, just like the C, I'm going to do this too. Here, 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 here. Like that. So I do the J here, stop, come back. Just like my block letters, this stroke is done up. That's just my preference. If you do it going down, that's fine. I'm just used to doing that one that way. So it's not completely flat down. It kind of fills the space a little better. What you're doing with casual is creating an attitude. Let's say you're doing a menu sign, and maybe they just want it straight, helmetic or whatever. See here too, you want these at the same peak. Because if it isn't, down here, looks like Marilyn Manson. It's got its hair over its eye. <laughs> Unless it is for Marilyn Manson. Now, on the O, I think of it in two parts. I start here, push around, stop. Now, overlap it, coming in here, it's sideways, and now you're pushing it over. You give it a whip. Here's where today I promised you can get loose with your brush, well this is it. Load it up and really push down, bend those hairs, push it up. Try your first line like this. Get it nice and slow and even. Then the next line of copy, I want you to do this. Fast, fast. Then the next one, slow again. It's like a muscle, you're building it up. Because you need it fast to give the look that you want. Then you slow it down for the technique of how you want it to be that look. There's the Pringles mustache, bam. You put the Superman curl on there, if you like. Do you generally use shorter brushes for the casual? Yes. Yeah. I mean, with this brush, I can still get a very wide letter or a very thin one. Here's, I can really push it out. Or, same brush. It's the pressure you're putting down. So this what is, size is the brush then? This is probably a number 8 or 10. Here's the Sassy S. One. Two. That's mm -hmm. sassy. Mm -hmm. What? So I need more paint on my brush because I had a few light spots there. Now with the U, I do it two ways. It can either just be where it comes all the way around 
try to do what I call the kickstand, and then back over. It looks a lot, it determines what's a U and what's a V. The V I'm doing like the A, where you slide it over, you're just gonna have to eye that when you're coming down, and you pull it over a little. Same with the W. But it's all about before it leaves your cup. And then with this consistency of your paint, will it be more fluid than yes. yesterday's? Yep, it'll be a little thinner. You can pull it and get that real whip. Emperor sand in two strokes. One. Four. The Z. America is the only country that calls this a Z. So. Yeah. So you could go.